Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out with me for part three of my daily cleaning routine series. So just a quick catch up on where I left you guys in my last video with some apartment updates that I'd done to my living dining room area. I also shared with you a couple of changes that I made to my home study slash office area and some storage and organization items that I'd picked up from Ikea that I said I would show you how I use those in detail in this video. So if you would like to see Wednesday's installment of my weekly cleaning schedule, just keep watching. This is what we are working with today. So today is Wednesday. The day is the lounge, dining, cleaning, daily routine. So a bit of stuff to do, a bit of stuff to organize and put away, some minor rearranging of things to be able to fit my newest baby. So cool. Um, also just plotting out the gallery wall that I might put up, but I'm not really sure. I don't know how it's going to look. I think I might do that trick where you can trace out on paper and put it up on the wall before you actually commit to sticking it up there. Because as easy as those command strips are, like they're not cheap. It's like $30 to stick that on the wall. So I want it if I do it once, I want it to stay there um, and I don't want to be changing my mind and putting something else up and down. Um, it's got to look good, so I might, yeah, trace them out on some big, like, gift wrap paper. I've got some leftover Christmas wrapping paper that I might just trace them out on, stick it up on the wall and see how it looks. But for the most part, it's looking, you know, quite organised and under control. It just needs a few things picked up, put away. It needs some work done on the cords because the cord is directly behind that drawer and it's not easy to get the cord plug in behind that cabinet so that is going to be probably the most tricky thing all day but you know what it's all right should be able to get this done in about 20 minutes i reckon um and then once it's all organized and put back together it'll be a quick just dusting everything down and giving it a really nice wipe down so not a huge cleaning day it's more of an organizing and rearranging day but that's where we're up to so let's get started. Say something that will make my day. Cause these memories of her won't go away. They're haunting me so I can't sleep. She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep. Cause she left. Why 
did she go? Oh, oh. Was I supposed to know that she'd leave? Was I the naive to think that she'd be the one? Whoa. Why did she go? I met her back in 2005. It was her crooked little smile that caught my eye. Time went by and it was her and I. Just had a guy who's come to fix the doors finally after two and a half years and three people coming the bathroom door actually shuts previously I've had to like yank it up so whenever anyone comes to use the bathroom they've got to get like shut in there and I've got to shut them but now the guy the third guy finally has fixed it the door in my boys room it used to they used to have to slam it shut but thankfully they have finally fixed it now they've just got to fix the dishwasher and repair the windowsill in my boys room so i have pretty much finished everything that i can do cleaning up wise um and i just need to go out to costco so i'm gonna go now because they're this they must be doing some back burning um up there and it's starting to smell really smoky even with the doors shut so I figured I'm just going to go now and right near Costco is just so happens to be an Ikea and I wanted to grab one more of these and to have a look if they've got some prints that I can just put in the frames for the gallery wall just to have them on the wall and not empty but just while I decide on which actual prints I'm going to put in there because Ikea prints are super super cheap. So, hmm, let's go for a little shop, shall we? Alright, so all of the frames have backing command strips to hang them up, but IKEA did not have any prints in stock. So they're going to have to go up blank, and then I will have to find some prints to fill them up. 
and I've just got this one marked here as like a little guide and I'm just going to use these wool lines um, in the timber to line them up so that should work <laughs> let's give it a shot life is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights Afternoon in Big W. Go Big W North Lakes. For the win. So this is how it's looking with a little bit of rearranging. So I changed up the plants and put those up there. I added that, switched out the photo frames that were there, and I just need to get a print for that spot there. Took the print that was a there and moved it away and then switched out that tray of things that was there just make sure I don't fall over anything so that's what it's looking like now oh I also took away the table that had the big fiddle leaf fig there and just put the guitar there because that's going to be a little bit of a music -y corner oh that's all the cleaning things I want to show you I always forget to show what I use in the cleaning videos so I've been like collecting them as I've been using them just to make sure that I don't forget well, so while we're here, I used these Ajax Eco Respect, so the biodegradable compostable. And I actually went to Costco this afternoon and you can buy them for literally half price at Costco for a four pack. It's the same price as two regular priced. So that is crazy. And I have picked up a four pack, obviously. Um, method glass cleaner, just for cleaning the glass that you saw before. This is Mr. Sheen, so this is just a this is just a furniture polish, cleans, shines, protects. Mr. Sheen, pretty um, iconic Australian cleaning product. I think it's Australian, I don't know, maybe it's English. Uh, and this is that, a lot of people have asked me about this, um, our Eco Clean. So this is a mold spray uh, to deter the growth of mold, I guess. Oil of clove and sweet orange. I bought this at the IGA in Australia and it is Queensland made. They do have an Instagram account and you can buy it online if you're looking for it. But I really like this and I have picked up a few other things from the line. Some of them I like, some of them I really, really like. So I'll be sharing those when I use them in upcoming videos for sure. And then I've just got the two microfiber cloths that I used for like dusting and cleaning and stuff like that. So that's pretty much everything I think that I use in this cleaning video. Uh, and then the dining room is just looking like, oh, little toy. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna change around that centerpiece, I don't know, but I just keep changing everything around. And that's the great thing about having like one similar kind of color scheme and theme throughout the house. You just switch everything around and everything goes everywhere. So that is really good, but I think I'll just keep playing with that. Um, and then we have the fiddle leaf fig back there. It used to be there before it was back over there. Uh, but now I've put it just up there. It's getting really big actually. So mm, it looks good there, I think. A little photo and some little decorations. And then I've just put those two round marble trays just there for the moment. I'm still contemplating getting an actual bar cart for that little area, but I'm not sure. Just because the bottles are too high to fit in that little cupboard there because it's got a shelf in between and if you put it up high enough to fit those big bottles it doesn't fit anything like worthwhile having up the top so I'd rather keep those there for the moment even though like I said before I'm not a huge fan of having alcohol on display but to be honest tucked away in that little corner I'm not phased about it uh, and I have seen some pretty cute bar carts online as well so I might mm, think about it um, the two prints are from Decenio. 
And then just the little bits and pieces on here. I think we've got some pot plants and stands that were from Kmart ages ago. Uh, one of these is from Ikea, the black one, and the white one is just from, or the wooden colored one, is just from an art supply store. This kind of bony, mother of pearly, whatever it is, inlaid tray came from TK Maxx and they still stock this range in Australia. This one was from Target and I just keep matches inside. This one was from Ikea a while ago, but I think you can still get it. This uh, terrarium is from Kmart. Uh, you still can get them. I think they're about $8. And then I just make them up and plant them in with succulents to make them look like a little cute thing. Uh, this one was from Maya. My boys gave me that for Christmas this year. An Ikea candle, some old Kmart coasters, and then some little decorative decor -y items that were from Ikea, but they're pretty old. I don't think you can get those anymore. And another Kmart little plant stand and plant. My cork collection. This is since I've been here, so I don't know, two and a half years. Don't drink that much. <laughs> um, this came from Target. Kmart, I used to have my utensils in this, but I switched it out for that rainbow um, vase. And this is just a little candle from Kmart. Uh, this ottoman also came from Kmart. A little Ikea placemat and an Ikea tray. I think these have both been discontinued though. Uh, this is an old candle holder from Kmart, I think. Yeah, Kmart um, a few years ago. And once it's burned out, I always find some use for the candle container. So I'll use it either for potting a little plant in and giving it to someone or putting it around the house. Same for these. When these are used up i use them for like makeup brushes or cotton rounds cotton pads q-tips um lots of things that you can use those for around the house or i will also plant them up with a little succulent plant and give it as a gift and then these are some more of those little coasters from kmart all right over here all right so we're halfway through the gallery wall i didn't find any prints because there were no prints at all in um ikea should I talk in the mirror so you can see me? I couldn't find any prints. So the frames that I need to fill are just there. And that will be a project for, you know, through the week. I don't mind. Um, I might look on Etsy and see if there's something that you can download and put in. So I can just put the three up there. But it looks pretty good. And it was super easy because you had these like guide lines that you just lined everything up with so it was super super easy so that's those two and then the three on the floor are just going to go up and it will square that out there so they are reba frames from ikea also the clock is also from ikea um i bought it a long time ago but i i saw it in stock actually today so they still have it in stock um kmart little brushed gold lantern that i shared in my home decor haul Lots of people ask about these little penguins too. There's a stacking, it's a stacking like a babushka doll set. And there's actually, I think, another two inside, but I just keep three because obviously we're a family of three. So I just put three out. Uh, and I got these from Australian Geographic about 20 years ago. So they're no longer in stock, but I'm sure you could find a similar kind of babushka doll, like nesting kind of thing online or on Amazon or something. A little Ikea plot plant pot with a aloe vera plant. Every single aloe vera plant in my house came from one cutting that I got um, about nine years ago before Riley was born, my youngest son was born. Um, so they've all just grown and I've grown and grown and given away and sold so many from just that one cutting. It is really, it's ridiculous. Again, this is the light from Ikea. Okay, so the light from Ikea that I shared in my home decor haul, you can buy the light bulbs and the base separately. Oh, it's got a little sticker on it, I need to take off. Um, another one of these, I had one for home and one for my work desk when I had my office, but now that I work from home, I've got two, two at home. Another Ikea plant pot, and it's just got a piece lily in it. And then the keyboard is just down there, but I would like to have it out and available just to encourage me to practice piano and to also get my boys to start playing some musical instruments, which is why Ooh, I've popped the guitar out there just to try and encourage. Like if it's just right there, I'm likely to pick it up. And honestly, um, 
you get so good so quickly when you play consistently like anything um, if you're consistent it does get you, you do get quite good quite quickly um, and there are those frames all right so I decided to keep this here just for now just because I've got a couple of things that I am not sure where to put right now that is the plant pot so I'm gonna put some more plants here because I'm loving having all these spaces to put plants um, and just uh, the two bottles of champagne that I got from my old ex co-workers from when I left my last job some ceramic plates that my sister gave me a Christmas present and a plant and just my iPad and then just the the Sunday stylist which I put in the background sometimes if I'm filming and things a little bit of um, promotion and a couple more prints that are also from Ikea and that pretty much does it for the mini makeover just a couple new things nothing too major and I did put on my insta stories today that I was going to Ikea and my bank account was dying uh, but I actually only spent seven dollars so I was not I was only kidding I don't like actually live at Ikea and just do nothing but spend money at Ikea although it does sometimes seem that when that's all you see on the, on YouTube but I promise you I do budget and I'm very very particular and careful with how much money I spend on everything came out today in the new Ikea catalogue so that's what I'm gonna be doing tonight after I finish uploading this video I'm gonna sit down with my wine and I'll flip through this The wind could spread your love. What if you're sweet? I just realized I didn't show you what I was organizing the other day. So, with those scub storage organizers, I've just popped a whole bunch in here and in here. a whole bunch of space up here to continue organizing which I'm going to pull the things probably out of the hallway closet and pop them in here then in the top is just DVDs and CDs as usual nothing has changed there the games that I used to have there I have just switched for this side so there's all of the kind of card games in there and then more kind of just kids games up here some cards some prosecco pool and dominoes and a jenga set and then on this side where it used to be i've just moved it for more kind of home officey stuff so there's some tissues, just some stationery in a tray. I haven't really super organized this yet because I've just switched it out. And just some note paper and notebooks. Most frequently used notebooks that I have just sit in there. And underneath, this is where I have like a laminator, a label maker. That's just the instructions for the microphone. Um, and then camera and YouTube-y type equipment and cords that I need to have super easy access to and then in my new Just flip it to a blank page <laughs> um, my new desk setup which I'm actually really enjoying having the window just here because it makes such a difference it's like I've given myself a promotion with like a corner office and now I have like a window view so instead of staring at a screen and a wall um, it's actually quite nice to sit and just be able to look out there and you can kind of have a real nosy on what people are doing keep an eye on the neighbors rather than just looking at the wall all day 
And then in the drawer, so it's the exact same desk, just the smaller version uh, that I used to have before. I've just basically scaled it down, paired it down to what I actually use to keep in here. And then the rest is just packed up in a, like a stationary box. So just some pens, and I like having the space for the keyboard and the mouse just to pack up so that if I'm doing writing, I can have the book up, the diary up, uh, my journal up. And then if I need to switch it around, And then it's into computer mode. And then those are all of the pens that I use oh, most frequently. So if I want to take my journal and the pens that I use to do my bullet journal, I'll just take it and move somewhere else. Sometimes I do it on the lounge, sometimes I do it at the bench, sometimes I do it at the table. So it's very portable. So that is that. Kind of enjoying it i wasn't sure how i would like having it just kind of like tucked away in this corner but it's actually working out really well much better than it being stuck up in my bedroom and much better than it being there where it was just a constant mess and i know like i've put many photos up and it's always in its nicest and neatest condition and it looks really nice in the photos but on a day-to-day -day basis you just kind of it ended up being just like a little bit of a dumping ground for everything in between here. And there is something that is coming that's going there. So that won't be turning into a dumping ground. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little clean with me, daily cleaning routine and mini rearranging makeover. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It's great feedback for me. It lets me know that you enjoy these type of videos and to keep on making this type of content. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe before you go, or better yet, hang out and watch another video. Have a fab week, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope.